Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, gentlemen, and welcome back to FS Daily News. Sorry, I'm running a little late again. Last night was football, and I stayed up a little bit late to actually watch the game. My team lost, but it was a good game. And I don't know, this weather change is actually kicking my... Yeah, waking up every morning with a sore throat. But let's get to the last news for this week. Today in news, we got an update on two riding lawnmowers that will be coming out. Plus, Shaben Mahdi has some news on his Case 1816C. Testing list is here, and there is 46 mods on that list. Now, for the question of the day. It's easy one. What is your favorite Harvester brand? Mine, of course, is John Deere, but really, I cannot wait to see a Gleaner on game. Remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll the intro. Let's see this news. Welcome back. Okay, so the last piece of news for this week. The first one we have is from Ross in Mods. It says, several people are having issues with the controls for the 220X on console. He says he is investigating this and will provide an update soon. To help with this, if users are experiencing any issues, please can you provide as much information as possible and send it actually to his Facebook page, guys. I have that linked in the description, so head on over there. And you guys can comment on that. He also gives a... Uh, I think it's an email address but anyways he says he's limited with what he can test on console but will aim to resolve this as soon as he can thank you for this thank you for your patience can't speak today okay now on to the next piece of news which is from bullet bill he says another feature of his here for shire which i'm probably butchering that name uh map is fully custom soil textures part of the county of the map in real life have a red sandstone clay soil mix making for a distinctive red color he simulated this on his map as well. Most of the soil textures are brand new with one or two giant ones adjusted to match the new color. All the new textures he's tried to better match what they look like in real life. He says he's also color matched all the dirt and dust particles so that any equipment used matches perfectly. His latest addition to the new soil textures is the stubble tillage texture he's made. He says he's wanted to capture the same look that you get when using discs. All the new soil textures utilize the parallax normal effect present in all farming simulator 22 ground soil textures so this is gonna look amazing wow so completely new textures if that one we have some news from shaben Modding about his case 1816c that will be coming out to all platforms it is in game the 1816c is almost done it should only need a few extra decals and add hoses and it's done he is super excited for the community to enjoy this as it is his first mod that he's actually made from scratch he did finally figure out the normal maps now thanks to rooster mods and JD's farm machinery. So that opens up a whole extra level for the amount of detail he can bring to the table. He's hoping to have this submitted by the end of this month. So stay tuned in for that. He said, please note that this is an early work in progress screenshot. So some things aren't perfect. And he's also given us a little bit of update about another mod. He says, as for his other projects, they are still going. He'll make an update post on the John Deere 95 and the big one, the John Deere 5020 soon. So we're going to be getting some news about that very, very soon. And then the next two pieces of news is pretty much like the battle of the riding mowers. Of course, we'll be talking about uh, Agrotono's mower all week. We'll be coming out to all platforms. Well, here is a few more tease picks of the Hoscavera riding mower. Looks really good. And then we just got some news about another mower coming. This is from Sloosh Modding, a John Deere Zero, Zero Turn Z235 that will be actually releasing on the mod for all platforms. And this looks very, very, very detailed as you guys can see. Look at that sticker right there. Wow. Anyways, that is all the news for today. What's left to get to? It is that testing list. And in testing, there is 46 mods. This is the last testing list for this week. Remember guys, if they say PC, does not mean that they're PC only, it just means they're in the first stage of testing. First stage is PC, second is console, third is release. Let's go over some notable ones we have on here. We have the JCB 220X Excavator. We have the eight bay double cow shed. We have old shed, Avant series, Western Australia, uh, Jan Tanker pack. We have the John Deere 965, uh, grain drying. Uh, MF2, Polish Barn, uh, let's see, American Tailor Shop, TLX X3 Series Attachments, Big Bud S3 Large Frame, uh, Case IH Concord Air Drill System, and Fent Man Sound. Now on consoles, it just says the HSK Series. 
Now, miles will be tested is 93. Courage wait time is six work days. And you guys can tell, Oh, Missouri is not on there, so I'm pretty sure it did fail testing, which we all expected. It was the first time. It did go three days, though. Well, right there was all the news and testing list for today. Now, for today's schedule, live streams are back at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, which will be back on Alma, Missouri. Remember, all links to the news and testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have released it unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash the like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator. And make sure that notification bell is on so you never miss any of the videos here on the channel. Well, hope you have a good day. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth.